I tell you what, it, it just seems like everything is blooming out there right now. It has a lot of us sneezing as well. It sure does. We are in the peak of pollen season. We can take a look at those flowers, but they might also make us sneeze every day. We are keeping a close eye on the pollen count. Melissa is joining us from the desk right now, so that's mm -hmm. one of the things that we've been talking about a whole lot this week. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we track it closely, and if you're an allergy sufferer, I mean, you rely on those daily pollen counts. Mm -hmm. You know there are bad days and then really, really bad days. But the question is, how do they come up with that number? How do they come up on the daily pollen count that we rely on each and every day? Well, I recently visited Atlanta Allergy and Asthma to find out. Yeah, at 5 a.m. Kim Norwood arrives at work each day while many of us are still asleep. As a pollen count technician, her work is seen by hundreds of thousands in Metro Atlanta each and every day. We see one facet of pollen season outside, pine tree pollen. The actual um, yellowness that you see on your cars each and every day is not really an allergen, so it really doesn't affect you. However, it's, it's kind of like a mind thing. You would think that it, it would trigger your allergies, but it really doesn't do anything for the individual at all. Um, it's what you don't see that actually affects you. Allergy sufferers don't react to each type of pollen the same. So how do they know what type of pollen is out there? It starts with a rotor rod machine. Every day, a small greased rod is put on a machine that spins or rotates it every 10 minutes, collecting pollen grains and mold spores along the way. Every 24 hours, the rod is brought inside, a new rod is put outside, then the pollen counting science begins. And you'll place a black, mor um, black marker at the bottom portion of this eye rod. After applying a stain to make the pollen grains more visible, the pollen count technician gets an up-close and personal look at it under the microscope. There are hundreds of various shapes that can show up under the microscope. The most memorable, pine pollen, whose shape Kim refers to as Mickey Mouse. And it's very distinctive um, in character and it actually um, shows its color <laughs> when it's produced outside each and every day. Kim and her colleagues are trained through years of experience to quickly identify and then count the various types of pollen grains and mold spores. A computer helps to multiply their sample into the pollen count you see each day. They started the pollen count in the early 1980s as a way for doctors to know what were the main culprits that were affecting their patients. But the popularity grew. In the 90s, there was a phone line you can call in, and today, the pollen count is broadcast on TV and online each and every day. Dr. Christopher Chu says the popularity of the daily pollen count is not the only part of pollen season that is growing. It's been starting earlier and lasting longer. So unfortunately, those patients with seasonal symptoms, they will have a little bit more suffering. Atlanta Allergy and Asthma released a study in 2021 that showed the season has not just grown in length, but also in intensity. So the work the pollen count technicians do every morning is that much more valuable to allergy sufferers. Um, they depend on you um, to put that count out daily because it makes a difference in their life. So I know we got a little in the weeds, so to speak. That's okay. We need to. <laughs> but, but it, you know, it's interesting to see how they do it, but also interesting to let you know, this weekend starting tomorrow, mm. Saturdays and Sundays, they're also going to be there collecting the pollen data mm. so that we know in this peak of pollen season in the next few weeks, yeah. how bad is it? Do yeah. I need to stay inside if you're allergic to more of that oak pollen or pine pollen, or can you go outside if those numbers come down? And something she said at the top, it could be in your mind, because after watching that, I don't know, my throat's feeling a little. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, every time <laughs> I go on a... Are your eyes watering? A little bit. Every time I go for a hike, whether they do the survey or not, I do my own survey. I can fill it all over my <laughs> yeah. eyes, you know, yeah. my I, hair.